Hello, people. So this is a, a special case, a very interesting and actually a very rare case. Uh, so the patient, um, I don't have the full clinical picture, but the patient was very ill. He presented with high fever, uh, left upper quadrant pain, and he had leukocytosis in his blood count. For further evalu evaluation, he was sent to do an abdominal ultrasound. And uh, the interesting thing in this abdominal ultrasound was uh, 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 was seen is he, in his spleen. So the spleen was uh, markedly enlarged and it had these uh, lesions. So here is uh, the spleen. This is a normal splenic tissue. So all of this is spleen, but this here, this is uh, a lesion and this lesion it has this hypoechoic background and these hyperechoic foci in the uh, lesion this is one lesion and then there is a second one here is the second lesion this is also normal splenic tissue and here is this hypoechoic lesion with these hyperechoic foci which actually represent air and because of the clinical picture and how these lesions uh, look, uh, the diagnosis uh, was laid down of a splenic abscess, a possible splenic abscess or a few abscesses. And for uh, further evaluation, the patient was, se was sent to do an uh, abdominal CT. This is uh, an axial uh, CT Im image and we can see here is the spleen. And this here is a uh, splenic tissue, but these uh, low density uh, regions, this one here and this one, so here demarcated from the splenic tissue, these low density with some air in it and another picture, so uh, bubbles of air and this low density uh lesion and also this this one these represent an splenic abscess and uh, on abdominal ct for splenic abscess it is a characteristic to present as low density lesion with or without uh, air this was actually uh, if you scroll down for example i don't have all the axial images but if you scroll further down this was actually one these two lesions are connected and this one, one this is actually one big uh, splenic abscess. Uh, these abscesses actually can have a variable appearance uh, on ultrasound and on uh, uh, CT imaging, especially on ultrasound. There, for example, this lesion can be totally hypoechoic or uh, can have only a few hyperechoic foci. On CT, it is mostly uh, presented as a, a low uh, density in the spleen. But in this patient, uh, it fits uh, the clinical uh, presentation and the imaging fits and the diagnosis is a uh, splenic abscess. It develops when a patient is severely immunocompromised and has bacteremia. And the treatment is um, broad spectrum antibiotics and a drainage of the abscess. And it is actually a very rare occurrence. Thank you very much.